Okay, so today I'm going to be tying my go-to pattern for American and Hickory Shad. I fish this fly on the St. John's River in Florida uh, during the shad run from late December until February or so and have uh, I've had some terrific results with it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, lay down a base of thread. Um, these are quick flies to tie and you're going to lose them so um, you don't have to go nuts. I usually uh, just thread wrap about halfway down the shank, cut our tag. We want to <clears throat> we want to go ahead and put our dumbbell eye on. Um, by the way, this is a size six uh, Mustad hook. Uh, sixes seem to work very well. I'll tie this pattern in sixes, eights, and tens. Generally, on all of those sizes, I will um, be using 532nd um, or extra small dumbbell eyes. I'm going to be tying this one with gold because supposedly shad love gold. I've also caught plenty of them on just plain lead presentation eyes or silver or black. Let's see if it makes any difference this year. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my dumbbell eye. Get it good and tight. Um, generally when I'm done with this fly, I will also uh, hit it with a little bit of Sally Hansen's just to keep them uh, durable. Okay, I think that's on there pretty good. Yep. So we're going to take I'm going to take some Tip tail, and you don't need a ton of it. In this particular fly, I'm going to be tying pink over white. So we're going to take a bit of kip tail, and you want to pull out any of the, the wild bits. And you basically want it to be about as long as the shake of the hook. And we're going to tie that on to the top of the hook. Cinch it on there, get it all to stay up top. Get a good tight wrap. Some stragglers down here. Okay. And then just slightly lift the tail as you advance your thread to the rear of the hook. That'll help keep the material on the top of the hook. We're going to extend our thread back to about the barb. That's pretty good. And now what we're going to do is take I don't know, two or three uh, strands of pink crystal flash. Doesn't have to be perfect. Two to three strands. And what I like to do is is wet it. Makes it easier to work with. Just wet it with your tongue, fold it in half to create a small loop and then place that loop on top of the hook um, and have it extend on either side of the hook uh, along the tail. So essentially you're trying to get half the strands on one side of the hook and the other half of the strands on the other. Attach that a couple times in back, a couple in front of that tag end and then you can take your scissors and just cut cut the crystal flash and now you've got two or three strands on either side of the tail. You want that to be just a little bit longer than the tail itself. Now we've got all the tag end here of the crystal flash. Just hold that up and advance your thread. And before we do anything let's go ahead and cut all the tag end of the kip tail out. We're going to extend that all the way up to the eye. Extend our thread all the way up to the, to the eye. And then we will do the same with the tag end of the crystal flash. So essentially we're wrapping the flash to create uh, 
kind of a flashy throat on this fly. And we're just going to advance that all the way up. If you've got enough, you can maybe take it down and back up again. I'll usually just go maybe halfway. It creates a little bit of a taper on the throat. I don't know that it's necessary, but it can, again, make the fly a little more durable. So advance that all the way up to the eye. <clears throat> we'll capture that with our thread. I like to do a couple behind and a couple, fold it back and do a couple in front and then trim it. And now, because I'm tying a pink over white, I'm going to take about the same amount of pink kip tail, and we're going to create a wing with it. You don't need a ton of material on these flies, you want them to sink quickly. Um, so you just want to give kind of an illusion of a small bait fish or shrimp. Um, really, the shad generally don't eat so much as they um, strike out of aggravation. <clears throat> So you want your wing to be as long as the tail, and that looks about right. Want any stragglers out? Go ahead and advance my thread up before I do this. Okay. Give it a pinch. I'm going to give this a wrap. It's going to kind of want to fold over to one side. Just give it a couple wraps and then pull that material on top of the hook. Then tighten your your thread wraps, advance forward. I usually advance back one more time all the while while I'm lifting the wing um, and then advance one more time forward. Lift this little tag end up, give a couple wraps in front of it and that'll make it stand up real nice and then I can trim it with my scissors. Get a nice close trim and then wrap that tag piece and build a nice head. After I get a nice size head, I'm just going to whip finish. I usually do four or five whips. And then trim your thread. And there you have it. That's the Kip Tail Clouser. Uh, kind of a modification of the original Clouser Minnow. And uh, kind of scaled down, a little flashier with the flash throat, uh, geared towards Shad. Rides hook point up. Uh, so you're going to stay out of the muscle beds or weeds. Um, really a very successful pattern for Shad. It's become my go-to fly. I tie it in uh, pink and white, uh, orange and white, chartreuse and white. Generally any sort of color combination of color over white will work. Um, and then uh, also in solid colors as well. So uh, give it a shot.